a, uh, a, uh, a photograph of Mr. O'Brien. Hi, Pat. From Be Careful Now, I hurt my hand. You've been to the 70th Precinct? No, I haven't been to the 70th Precinct. Pat. Um, we also have a shot of Mr. O'Brien from 1978. Yeah. Really? When, uh... He, in fact, he looked pretty good. You look great, in fact. Yeah, you do. I feel good, too. Yeah. Okay. The the but there he is now man. with a full head of hair. That's... <coughs> well, that's <laughs> it. I, I want to see that. <laughs> Put it up again so Charles can see it. Really? Oh, <laughs> my God. He looks like Charles. Yeah. He does. He looks like Charles. Like yeah. So, um, we'll get to all that in a minute. How, how are you? I'm great. No, you're not. I am really great. No, you're not. <clears throat> I can't talk, though. You ever have that after a vacation? Yeah. <clears throat> but I am uh, fabulous. No, you're not. I'm beyond great. No, you're not. <laughs> no, I, I'm not kidding. No. I've never been better. Well, it just can't be. I've never been better. Well. What, I, well, what do you attribute that yeah. to, I wonder? I mean, is Lots of things, but I have never been better. Really? Well, I sit good. here you facing know, you and the Lord. <laughs> and, I, and he's the Lord. Absolutely. You know why you're good today? Why? Because uh, your DNA does not match uh, <laughs> You're right Mars. about that. You know, That's so. one reason. The other reason, I met Hanson. Yeah, we saw that. Yeah. Uh, we have a what are you watching that for? Well, it was, it Deidre well, was watching. I brought this hat with my name on it. it, was, it was, uh, I'm tired of looking at the back of my head on the show. Well, aren't you a little self-conscious about your hair? How does that look? And, and shouldn't you be? <laughs> Let me see what this looks like. It's on a delay. Well, uh, don't, right. don't worry anyway, about it. I'm, got it. I'm ready better. for a great morning here. Has anybody been on television more than you have? No, I mean, well, No. Well, so get over it. All right. Do the news. All right. Do the news, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will, Pat. And, we'll uh, and I am that. great. By the way, I can't talk. No, you're not great. No, you're not. I am so great, you can't believe it. Well, no, you're not. But we'll get to that in a minute. So, Get to it now. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we don't want to get to it now. <laughs> we want to get to it later. My grandmother died, though. That I'm sorry to hear. I am sorry to hear that. 98, died in her sleep. Oh. There ain't no better way to go. Boy, no kidding. Well, good for her, yeah. but the other four passengers in the car weren't too pleased about it. <laughs> what is, no, that, what is the matter show. with you? No, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's not funny. But I, you know what I loved about that? Your well, reaction was great. Yeah. But I mean, you well, know. What would our reaction be? <laughs> oh, good? Well, your well, grandmother's dead? Your grandmother's dead? What are we supposed to well, say? Well, no, but you were very, you know, I had a very Irish reaction. You were very... Well. <laughs> that's too bad. <laughs> well, it is. But I'm great. All right, go ahead, Charles. <laughs> uh, Marv Albert's law what? Marv Albert's lawyers are pressing to have the case against him dismissed, I man. Why? They've asked a judge in Virginia to throw out the sodomy and assault charges. Albert's attorneys say prosecutors hurt his chances for a fair trial by releasing DNA test results, something you were alluding to earlier today. Well, they've uh, now determined that there's, at least based on these probably bogus DNA results. We think, And yeah. who knows how the... Archdiocese here oh on the Imus and Warning program. Uh, our friend uh, John Cardinal O'Connor. Good morning, Cardinal O'Connor. Good morning, to God bless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome back from the desert, Amos and all. Thank you very much, Cardinal O'Connor. Isn't it about time to go back, you dusty old lizard, you be Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> the winner numbers in the New York State lottery is as follows. Now, this right, is okay. what we want. Let me write them down. All right. Okay. <laughs> Got them ready. <laughs> Well, another fine fest of St. Patrick's Day has come and gone, I miss Navarre. Yeah. It was a lovely spring day on Fifth Avenue. Great mm -hmm. day to look at the fine Colleen's, be Jesus. Or as the Kennedys might call them, my wild Irish hoes, be Jesus. <laughs> that would be oh, that fine. great. My wild Irish hoes, yeah. the sweetest hoes I knows. <laughs> They'll make you a drink, then give up what's pink. Oh, my wild Irish hoes. <laughs> God forgive me. Of course, after the parade, I miss Navarre. Mm -hmm. There were the usual festivities, setting homeless people on fire. Yeah. Maybe a group river dance on some squeegee guy's face. <laughs> then out to the burbs to knock over some Jewish tombstones, be Jesus. Lots of fun to be had, I miss the mod. Made all the more enjoyable knowing New York's number one fat mouth was out in the desert, be Jesus. I tell you that. The daily number. Uh -huh. It's not the desert, by the way, but go ahead. <laughs> daily number. They okay. must say, I miss the mod. Yeah. God bless the I-Man for his efforts to build a ranch for sick children. Mm -hmm. Which we've been hearing about for the past few days. Yeah. Ad nauseum. <laughs> you're making us sick. Well. Keep your suck holes shut, BG. No, seriously, I'm Mr. Yeah. Not only is the I-Man starting to look like Mother Teresa, yeah. he's actually beginning to behave like a McCord, God bless him. <laughs> or at least like Paul Newman. 
What are you going to call this place? The hole in the lung gang, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, right, Mr. Maher. Hole in the lung. I like that. See if you can say that fast three times without your dentures flying out of your mouth, be Jesus. <laughs> the hole in the lung ranch? Get the fix it in. <laughs> Maybe you can call it Neverland South, to be Jesus. Based, <laughs> based on this conversation you and Fred had the other day. Well. Fred asked the I man, what if the kids refuse to cooperate when they get out to the ranch? <laughs> Listen to the I man's reply. You grab one kid. And you start there. How's that again? You grab one kid, <laughs> and you start there. Oh, grab this, you dirtbag. You never land selfie. Geez, lots of pony rides, you filthy reprobate. God forgive me. The Daily Note, the win phone number. Oh, what are they? All right, here we go. Let me just say this, I, Mr. Martin. Bill Clinton on this Hazel O'Leary-inspired junket out in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Watch your wallet. It's a jungle out there, be Jesus. <laughs> of course, with Hillary tagging along, I, Mr. Martin. Poor Bill won't get to see any naked tribes, ladies. The only... <laughs> That'd be a little smuck here. <laughs> the only skull he'll get will be in the form of a shrunken oh, head, be Jesus. That will be fine. Oh, the Wolf Blitzer did make the trip. That's, that's Which reminds me, I Mr. Marr. Yeah. After seeing the movie, the movie Primary Colors, give me some of that fix it in here, will you please, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> Would have been a little more realistic if they had cast, say, John Goodman or Tom Arnold or even Nick Nolte. Instead of Emma Thompson as Hillary Clinton, BJ's wasn't believable at all. <laughs> <Same thing. laughs> How come no black actors or black movies received any Academy Awards from the bagel eating weasels out in Hollywood this year, I must have Answer me that, bloody disgrace. I don't, I don't know. Excellent films out there like Amistad and Booty Call, be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> McCord. Yeah. McCord, have you seen Amistad yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Of course not, you bootlicking baboon, you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe if Amistad had an ending more like the Titanic, you'd have been in the theater <laughs> clapping and whooping it up, you smuck you. <laughs> You semi erect suck up you. <laughs> Pick their numbers. Right, what are they? Speaking of semi erect. Yeah. <laughs> no, not you, I man. <laughs> Mike Tyson's going to write a book about his life. Really? Oh, no title yet, hey, Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. How about if I only had a brain? <laughs> or I was Don King's bitch, be Jesus. <laughs> With boxing out of his life, maybe. Tyson put out a hip-hop record we, or some damn thing. We need to get to the which doesn't belong and why. Call it Rapers Delight, be Jesus. Only in America. Okay. okay. Which doesn't belong and why? I love this part. Which doesn't belong and why? Which doesn't belong and why? All right. A, Monica Lewinsky. Monica Lewinsky. B, Anita Hill. Anita Hill. C, Paula Jones. Which doesn't belong and why? No, I would say Anita Hill. Yeah, Wrong, you wrinkled up old butt munch, you be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, all three of these Spice Girls stupid perfume-wearing pea brains achieve prominence and <laughs> by a scandal. And are so dumb they actually believe that safe sex means having a padded headboard. <laughs> the answer is A. Monica Lewinsky doesn't belong because unlike the other two geniuses, yeah. the smartest thing to ever come out of Monica Lewinsky's mouth <laughs> is the president's Petey be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> be ashamed of yourself, McCard, you don't like you. John Cardinal O'Connor. <laughs> After ten years.